Adding images to your website used to be a long and cumbersome process, but thankfully WordPress makes this really easy to do. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add images to your website powered by WordPress. So in order to do this, I'm going to add some images to a post I've already created. So I'm just going to go into posts and then uh, click on this note I've already added. It just has some plain text and it's the aside post format. All of your images live in the WordPress media library. This is just a library of all of the media. So it's not just images, things such as PDFs and MP3s, all of the media that you've added to your site. And it's literally a process of drag and drop. I'm just gonna press return here in order to create a space to add my image. Then I'm just going to find the folder where I've got my image saved and just drag and drop in order to upload where I want it to display on my website. And so once that's uploaded, you're gonna see that this uh, loading bar has finished and we have a preview of the image displaying here. You're then gonna see we've got a number of options down the right hand side where we can set things such as a title, a caption, alt text, and a description. So the title is obviously the title of the image. So I'm going to call this image thinking aloud. And then we can add a caption. This is what's going to display below your image. And it just adds a bit of descriptive interest for your readers. So you might want to use this caption in order to just tell a little bit of story about the image, for example. So I might add the caption that this picture was taken on holiday in 2014, for example. The alt text is typically used for accessibility and for search engines. So this is literally a description of the image. So for example, you might have the place it's taken, or you could just copy the title, which is um, something that only displays on the back end. The description is a longer description, so you might want to use the title as a basis for this and just add some extra text here. Um, so you want your description to be a full description of the image. You can leave any of these blank should you wish to. You then have the option to align left, center, right, or none. Um, I'm going to leave this as none, so I don't have anything either side of it. And you can also choose whether to link to the file itself, that's the media file, the attachment page, so that will be a separate page on your blog, which will only display the image. You can have a custom URL, so you can send this to any URL you want, or you can have no link on the image. You also have the option to set the size. So full size is the size you've uploaded, but WordPress will also create a smaller, large, medium, and then thumbnail size. I'm gonna set this as large to display this fully on my post. And you just need to click insert into post, and then that's going to add that picture to your post. If you then click on the image again, then we can choose quickly the alignment. So if I wanted to align this left, for example, I could then align that and then make that smaller. And we're gonna see that the text wraps around that. Call to align center, right, or have no alignment as we had before. And if you press edit then, then you're gonna to get to the uh, image details screen, which will allow you to change quickly the caption and the alternative text, as well as these alignments here. The size, you see we've got a custom size now because we dragged to rearrange that and also the link. If you click on advanced options, you've got a number of CSS options as well as the title attribute should you want to do that. You probably just want to leave that blank though. On the right hand side, you've got another option which is edit the original. And this is going to allow you to edit the image within WordPress itself. Here you can do things such as select an area of the image and then crop. As well as rotate mirror horizontally or vertically, as well as undo those. So if I wanted to make this image slightly smaller, then I would just need to make that crop and then press save. Then we're gonna see that we've got that image is slightly cropped there. And if I click update, then we're gonna see that change reflected on the post. And I could now move that around again in order to resize that and align that left, for example. I'm just going to uh, have this image as full width, I think, and then uh, have no alignment. And I'm just gonna show you a couple more options you've got for editing. So I'm just going to add another photo in here. I can do that by pressing add media instead of dragging and dropping. And this will allow me to access media files I've already uploaded that are already in my media library. So you'll see we have the two tabs, upload files and media library. And I have these three images here that I've already added. Here I have the title and caption already added in. And I can just insert this into post 
but I can also access the edit image page just by pressing edit image here. And we're gonna see I've got a couple more options. I can scale the image here by just inputting some dimensions here, or I can crop the image, but using a specific aspect ratio. So if I wanted to make a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, for example, I could make my selection there and then select one, one, and we're gonna see I've got a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. I can now click the crop button in order to crop that and then save that image. And you can see I've got a nice square Instagram style image. And now I might want to import a medium size, perhaps a line right into my post. And we're gonna see what that looks like. Once you're done with those, you can just click update or publish in order to add those to your post. And if we view our post now, we're gonna see we've got the large image with no alignment going all the way across with a link to the media file as well. And also we've got this square one aligned right, displaying lower down on the post. And so you see adding media in WordPress is, is very simple. You just need to drag and drop, and then you can resize these in order to move them around to get it displaying how you want. Just one final thing to show you then, which is if we take a look at media on the left-hand side, um, this will take us to the media library manager. And here we can see we've got all of the media we've added to the media library. And you can also add new items here without needing to do it in a post. So you can drag and drop or select files there. And you can also access the media library and those editing options should you wish to without needing to go into a post. So WordPress has some really powerful options for using media in your posts. Hopefully this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.